What if I told you that everything in the universe made music, even stars, and then also promised you that I wasn't high on anything? Anthony here for D News, and there's always been this feeling that music and the universe are connected. Plato called it music of the spheres, the idea that astronomy is the study of harmonious motion of objects in space, and music is the harmonious motion of instruments. It makes sense. The movements of celestial bodies, the structure of molecules, it's all based on motion and patterns. So what happens if we try to extract the music from the universe and listen to it? Over at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, this blind postdoctoral student was using software called Xsonify to convert numeric data from NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory into sound so she could study it. The data was coming from EX Hydrae, a binary star system where one star is constantly sucking energy out of the other in a phenomenon that is called a cataclysmic variable. The energy extraction causes the amount of X-rays that the stars give off to fluctuate, and that changing brightness created different sounds in the software, a melody. And after handing that melody off to a composer and a band to harmonize with, they wound up with this. They took different bits of the data and played it in different musical styles. You can check them all out at the Star Song site. There have been a few projects that actually turned DNA into music, taking the genetic pairs and converting them into notes. In 2010, DNA from 40 members of the New London Chamber Choir were taken and converted into music by composer Michael Zev Gordon. Each member of the choir was given a solo that was taken directly from their DNA. And here's something else that's cool. While they were analyzing the DNA to give to Gordon, they actually found that choir singers are more likely to have a variation on a particular gene, like they were made to be singers. And maybe trees are made to be pianos, because this German artist created a turntable that reads the rings on tree slices and converts them into piano music in real time based on their thickness and growth rate. It's kind of haunting. <laughs> So is there really a connection between music and the universe? Well, there is an important thing to remember here. The rules that determine how the raw data from these x-rays or genes or trees turn into sound were all created by people. The, the raw patterns are there, but it's a human being who figures out how to make those patterns work as a melody. It's still fun to think about, right? I would love to hear how weather patterns sounded as music. What kind of science would you want converted into a song? Let me know down below and subscribe for more D News.